Um, Sabrina, you came out and played so, so well. I mean, from the jump, you know, you hit that floater and you had 12 points in the first quarter. Um, did you feel like you needed to prove something after uh, the other night or were you extra locked in? Like, what was going on? I mean, just continuing to read the game, um, you know, understanding – what I, what I didn't do well last game and being able to adjust quickly and go back, you watch film, figure out ways that you can continue to improve and not really be complacent with the way that they were defending me and um, kind of able to, you know, get up the floor and, and set screens a lot higher really helped to just get open. And um, thankfully, my teammates found me. Stu, if anyone else wants to jump in, what did you all say to yourself in between the third and fourth quarters? There was that weird momentum shift with the mm -hmm. three-pointer that almost went in, but then you guys came out on the floor and then really just... The <clears throat> um that they made their run and you know whether they had momentum or not we were going to take it back we knew we had leo and jj in foul trouble and they're coming in in the fourth um just being confident behind that being aggressive and uh we were able to scramble put them in tough situations offensively and then kind of take whatever we wanted on the other end um sandy uh, so JJ obviously dealt with foul trouble again, but she found a way to, I guess, lead you guys to a different result this time. How did she just find a way this afternoon on both sides of the ball? Um, yeah, no, it was really big for us. You know, we spoke about it um, pregame about, you know, JJ, um, she's important for us to win this series. Um, you know, a little frustrating with her, with her fouls, um, but I thought she maintained her emotional stability there and went back in and we spaced her a fair bit. She was making shots, you know, she made three big shots and um, defended really well. Um, you know, it's just staying in the moment. We just kept saying, you're going to be fine. Just keep being positive with her. Um, and, but, you know, we needed her when we had the foul trouble, when Leia could go back on and JJ was there. I think that was our, that was our best lineup, but also Courtney Vandersloot, you know, obviously went with her in that fourth quarter. She was a difference maker there. Having another ball handler, I thought we, it was a great unit out there. And to keep Baker's, what, to 24 points in the second half is pretty impressive. And also to follow up for the players, when you left the floor after doing what you wanted to do for so long, get back to the finals, what thoughts were moving through your mind, just embracing the current moment? Um, <clears throat> that we haven't done anything yet. Um, that this was uh, a tough series, an emotional series for you know a number of different reasons, but uh, we're going to the finals and we're hosting game one and game two and we'll see who we play, but we're ready to go. And um, just the, the feeling of not satisfied, I think. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina or Stewie, either one of you, you said that the job isn't done yet, but I'm just curious, having to face safe two years in a row, finally getting past them this time, did it feel at all like you were getting over any kind of hurdle? Uh, no, I mean, no hurdle besides just getting back to the finals. Um, for us, I think we've talked about every year, it's New York versus New York. It's not, you know, us versus anybody else. Um, you know, we want to go out there and be the best that we can be, no matter what team it is. Um, and I think we were able to do that this series. Um, it was really nice to see how we just stuck together. Obviously, we we had a kind of rough game last game, and um, it can go one of two ways. You can come back out and kind of put your head down and not be the best and rely on going back to game five. But we came out here and understood we, we wanted to be our best and get this done. Um, because we deserve that. We've played like that all year. And so for us, it was just continuing to focus on ourselves, being the best that we can offensively and defensively. And in turn, that leads to a great win for us. And just one other question. Um, how happy are you guys, or are you happy, obviously, that you got it done, but you'll have an extra day of rest, you know, more rest. Is that helpful for you? No. I'm very happy. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah. Um this, you guys know, this playoff schedule is like extremely condensed. If you go to a game five, you have one day to prepare for game one of the finals. That's like insane. Um, and, you know, none of us are, are able to be in charge of it. So there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, for, for any of you, um, I guess for Sabrina or Sui, the, the flow of this game is just very weird, very choppy, a lot of stoppages. How do you... I mean, it didn't, it didn't look like Liberty basketball, but it certainly got the result that you wanted. Like, how did you achieve mm -hmm. what you wanted to despite that lack of flow? You want to take it? Yeah, go, okay. go ahead. I'm on a roll. 
<laughs> I feel like Liberty basketball can be seen in a, a number of different ways. You know, um, yeah, we want to play fast. We want to hit threes. We want to run. We want to do all these things. But you know what? We want to win. And if it takes to win ugly, um, I feel like the the choppiness of the game is a credit to us to stay locked in. Like whether JJ and Sandy take each other out or they're reviewing stuff or whatever the case may be. Um, we just continue to to keep pushing and, and make sure that, you know, it's me, the five that were on the court, we were definitely locked in on, on what we needed to do. Just a quick follow-up. You said you haven't done anything yet. You still really feel like I haven't made it to the finals that you haven't done anything yet. We went to the finals last year and we didn't do nothing. Didn't win. Don't win. There's no satisfaction there, is it? Question uh, for any of you. Um, Playing a team like the Las Vegas Aces over the years, how have they made you a stronger, more resilient team over the years? They've made us a better team. Um, to like for me particularly as um, someone who's kind of been a part of this like new generation, um, I wasn't able to watch like the Minnesota Lynx and all those teams when they were on their run. When when I was younger, I wasn't really a part of the league, and now being able to be a part of the league and see their excellence year after year. To do what they've done is not easy. Like, you know, we've we've gotten there and lost. They've gotten there and, and won twice. And it, it's a testament to their togetherness, um, their experience, how hard it is that they're um, wanting to go out there and be their best every night. And they've laid down the foundation and they continue to motivate everyone in the league to just want to be better and want to win championships. And so uh, we've always respected them. Um, we have the utmost respect for what they've been able to accomplish, what Becky's done here in a short amount of time. And, um, you know, thank them for helping us get continue to get better. I'll back here a quick one for you, Coach. It felt like there was an early emphasis for Brianna Stewart initiating against pick and roll ball handler. And beyond that, also kind of clearing those wings and opening up that space for her. Um, what kind of popped on the film for you in game three that led to that decision? Well, I mean, we've been continuing to develop Stewie as a handler. I mean, just uh, they didn't want to switch any kind of pick and roll. So why not use her in the pick and roll action? I thought it was very effective for us. Um, Shui does so many great things for us, um, and she was massive for us. We had to make a guard plumb tonight. I thought she did an excellent job uh, chasing all the guards around. She loved it, didn't you? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, loved it. Um, but, yeah, she's just a high, high energy, highly skilled, so let's just use all those skills.